I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. And do you want to add range to your jumper? Well, you're in the right place because this is our instant range boosters. All right, so range is really important, especially for younger shooters, because a lot of times the further out you go, your mechanics kind of break down and it makes it that much harder to shoot, right? And in basketball, the better range you have, the more, de the, more the defense has to respect you, so that's one reason why it's super important as well. So the first key that we're gonna talk about is having your heels up. Now you might have heard me talk about this before, but it's one of kind of the most important things in keeping all that power and ready to spring into it. So you can see as our shooter Gibson here is getting ready to shoot on the catch, when he's catching, he's keeping his heels off of the ground. Notice we've got daylight in between this heel and in between this heel. Now the reason why you want to be able to do that is because it acts like a natural springboard. As he jumps, his heels are going to flex down towards the ground and then spring back up. And because of that, it makes all that upward momentum go into his body, right? If instead he catches and plants with his heels into the ground, boom, just like that, all of a sudden the ground sucks all of that momentum out of his body and he's got to try to regather it, right? It seems like a very small difference, but it makes a huge difference by the time you generate all that upward momentum. So think about on the catch, on the dribble, whatever it is, trying to stick those toes into the ground, keeping those heels up and you'll get a lot better spring and thus increase your shooting range immediately. All right, so the next thing you want to think about to increase your range is what we call triple extension, right? And that's where we're talking about your ankles, your knees and your hips all flexing at the same time together. So you notice that on the catch when Gibson's ready to shoot the ball here, boom, He's flexing all three at the exact same time, right? His hips, his knees, and his ankles are all triple flexed, ready to spring. Now the key to triple extension is that they all want to extend at the same time. So as Gibson starts going slowly into his jumper here, you can see that his hips, knees, and ankles are all locking out at the exact same time, right? If you can do that, it's going to maximize that upward force in your lower body, put that momentum into the basketball, and increase your range. Right? What we see with a lot of kids is that their extension happens at different times. Maybe their knees lock out, then their ankles start to lock out, then their hips lock out, or maybe they get their knees and their hips really locked, or their knees and their ankles really locked, but their hips aren't. Right? They're, maybe they're straight up and down like this. Right? That doesn't give you that kind of nice extension through the body. So think about getting all three joints um, nice and locked, and then extend them all at the exact same time for extra range. All right, so the next key that I really like to extend your range is what we call the delayed set point. This is something that a lot of young players have an issue with. And it's basically just the concept that as you're getting ready to shoot, the ball should be reaching your set point or up by your forehead, your chin, or wherever it's at, at the exact same time that your toes are getting ready to leave the ground and your legs are locking out. What you see with a lot of players is that it reaches the set point way too early. So it, the ball gets up by their set point when their knees are still really bent, just like that. Now the issue is from the set point, that's when you want to start snapping the ball forward on your shot, right? And so if it gets here and your legs haven't locked out yet, it's pausing at this spot for just one moment. And if it does that, it's gonna take away some of your power, some of your range, right? So if you can delay that set point just a little bit, it's gonna help you out. So if it reaches your forehead right at the same time you're locking out, all the momentum comes through the basketball and into the shot, okay? So if you can do that, it's gonna help you out a ton. Now, one thing that can help out a ton is to bring the ball further away from your body. A lot of players put it really close and so what that does is it makes a shorter path for the ball to get up to their set point, right? So it gets there too early. So what I like to think about is think about maybe six, eight inches away from your chest, bringing it out just a little bit. So that way as the ball comes up, it allows your legs more time to spring into the jump shot. So you can bring the ball further away from your body, a little bit of a delayed set point. All right, so the next thing you can really increase your range is just turning your feet slightly. Now I know a lot of you have probably heard square up to the basket, right? 10 toes to the rim. But the issue with that is it creates a ton of upper body tension. If on the catch you get 10 toes to the rim, just like this, as you bring the ball above your forehead, generally in your shooting shoulder, you're gonna feel a lot of tension, right? Some people are more than others, and every shooter is a little bit different. So instead, what we like to do is on the catch, if you can turn your feet just slightly, boom. So you'll notice that uh, Gibson's dominant foot is a little closer to the three-point line than his left foot. It makes it so that tension comes out of your shoulder, and then you can get your hip uh, shooting elbow and shoulder all aligned with the basket in a straight line, right? The issue is if, is, is if your uh, feet are 10 toes to the rim and you're squared up, now if he goes to shoot the basketball, right, his alignment is off the center of his body and it makes it a lot harder to keep the ball straight, right? So with each shooter is a little bit different. Some people like a big turn, some people like a small turn. It's up to you to figure out exactly what works best for you. But if you can figure out that turn, it's definitely gonna increase your shooting range immediately. All right, so if this video helped you out, go ahead and hit that like button down below. And then below that, let me know in the comment section what sort of video you wanna see next. This is a channel for the people, by the people, and I run pretty much everything off a of request. So leave it down below and hopefully I'll get to it. And if you're new to Shot Mechanics, you're gonna to wanna to do two things. Number one, hit that subscription button down below because we put out a ton of videos every week and they're all gonna get you better, I guarantee it. The second thing you're gonna to wanna to do is click the button above or the link in the description to get a free copy of my number one scoring workout. This scoring workout is gonna kind of revolutionize the way you train and probably increase your scoring average the very first time you use it. So I highly recommend you check that out. All right, again, I'm Coach Colin Castell with Shot Mechanics Basketball. Thanks for watching. Until next time, splash on.